Thanks for staying with us. 2020 has been a tumultuous year for everyone from the COVID-19 pandemic to the presidential election. So how do you navigate family holiday gatherings during such uncertain times? Our next guest is here with some advice. Christy Beck is a licensed therapist and the faculty supervisor of the HER Clinic at Penn State University. Christy, welcome back. Thanks for having me. Oh, it's a pleasure and I'm looking forward to this <laughs> advice from <laughs> politics to the pandemic. Yeah. It's taken an emotional toll and you have some help for us, ways to navigate. Yes. And that's in the form of some talking points. So let's get to these tips. Sure. First is cope ahead. What does that mean? So that means just basically um, having self-care and planning ahead. And so we don't, it feels like a lot of the times the, the holidays just kind of creep up on us. And so the more that we can plan ahead um, and just take care of ourselves ahead of time, the better prepared we'll be when they happen. That sounds like something that should be posted on the refrigerator. Yes. Cope ahead. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Up next, allow yourself some space to grieve. Now, what do you mean by that? Right, so this year is obviously gonna look really different in a lot of ways, and it already has in a lot of ways. I mean, from um, kids having their education delivered differently in a lot of places, um, and just, you know, not having the same, you know, being able to get together the same way, and so, just understanding and recognizing that this is a hard space that we're all in and you know obviously in different ways and that just to give ourselves that space to just grieve and and thinking about that this isn't going to be the same um the holidays aren't going to be the same as they've always been um and and just kind of like sitting with those feelings of sadness you know not we don't want to yeah. stay there forever but just kind of acknowledging and validating those feelings is going to be really important i like that to be okay with feeling not okay for a little while. Right. Next tip, follow CDC guidelines. Yes. <laughs> so this is a huge one. Um, and so the CDC is still saying we you know, wearing masks, um, washing hands, you know, social distancing. So anybody not in your immediate household that you are living with, anybody else, we really need to continue um, and following those CDC guidelines. They are so important in stopping the spread of this disease. I keep telling people it's the only thing in our arsenal to slay this dragon. Right. It's, it's it. It might not be great, but it's what we've got. Well, yeah, and it's not terribly difficult. So. Right. <laughs> right, right. This one's tough, a virtual gathering. Right, and so a lot of families are, are facing this um, with this holiday season. You know, we've got, um, you know, over the next few months, we'll be having a lot of different kinds of gatherings from a lot of different cultures and, and religions. And we really are, are all sitting with the reality of it's just not safe for us to get together. Um, and so having that virtual um, gathering, you know, having it on FaceTime or Zoom or, or whatever, so that we can at least <laughs> have some space together um, without being, without, you know, endangering each other. And you know, what a gift that we live in a time where we can do that. Yeah, yeah. 20 years ago, right. we would have been sitting home alone and not being able to reach out to each other at all. Right, so silver linings. <laughs> <laughs> so we have about a minute left. Finally, what feels best for you and your family? Right, and so we really have to think about what is best for ourselves, with our families, um, and that's gonna be a really personal decision. And so I think that, you know, we all have different family makeups. We, we might have family members that are immunocompromised. Mm -hmm. um, and so thinking about what's gonna be the safest, and so um, just being prepared to share that with your family of what you feel like is best, and also being respectful of other people's choices, that even if it's not your choice, that you need to respect what other people are deciding. One sentence on family and politics. We only have a few seconds. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I think it needs to be decided ahead of time how.